Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So just keep that in mind. Check out my playlist for Aries if you want to see more videos for your sign. I'll have the playlist linked up in the cards uh, and down in the just or pinned in the comments. Okay. Let's see what we get for you, Aries. Spirits and Angels cards. What's coming their way in love at this time? Who or what is coming towards Aries in love? Who or what is coming towards Aries? Okay, can I get one more? That's just for Aries. Okay, so we got love letter, message confession, response. A special message is on its way. Hidden motives, deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone's hiding their true motives. And then closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. So when I see all of these together, I feel like there probably hasn't been communication between you and this person someone has kind of been blocked or closed off um and i feel like there are it's almost like it's creating a, a, an energy of secrets or mystery like there's something that's unknown because there is no communication now love letter this card can mean that this person is thinking of reaching out To you in some way or you are thinking about communicating with them in some way so let's see messages for Aries spirit what does Aries need to know who or what is coming towards them okay let's see who or what is coming towards Aries spirit Or why it's coming towards Aries. The full reverse. Or what is coming towards Aries? Seven of Swords reverse. Wow, Ace of Wands. Very interesting. So with the Seven of Swords reverse, and it's funny, it's right under hidden motives. So I feel like someone's going to be found out or a secret might be revealed here. Someone might get caught checking in on the other person or trying to communicate with a person. I'm not sure why that would be kind of like sneaky behavior unless someone's not supposed to be contacting you for whatever reason. We'll see when I clarify. Ace of Wands, new beginnings, passionate um, endeavors, new adventures, something exciting. But the, it's, we start off with the full reverse. So it's almost like there's a delay here and a new beginning or hesitancy regarding a new beginning. It could even be that someone is not really thinking things through and kind of jumping into something without thinking, but I don't know. If that is the case, I feel like they would get caught here. So let's clarify, Spirit. Help me clarify, show me too. Why is the full reverse here, Spirit? Tell me about this full reverse. Four of Wands. Stability, home, harmony. Tell me more about this full reverse. Why is the full reverse? The lovers, Gemini energy. I feel like this is what someone wants. 
something to do with a partnership, a home, something very balanced, stable, happy, peaceful. I feel like this is what someone wants. Or like this is this is the whole point of having a new beginning is to get this. But there's something off here with the full reverse. It's like someone's prevented or blocking themselves from getting this. These, this really good energy here. Can I get one more, please, for the full reverse for Aries? You could be dealing with a Gemini as well or someone that has Gemini in their chart. Wow, judgment. Judgment is all about waking up, resurrection, revival, second chances. What's this judgment about? Okay, again with the Eight of Wands reverse. So Eight of Wands reverse, the full reverse. I'm getting very similar energy here. Almost like someone is not moving, um, not communicating. Um, and with Judgment reverse, it's like someone's aware of this. Um, perhaps they want a second chance at happiness, stability, but they're delayed or blocked from that in some way. Um, I'm also getting that there might have been a delayed awakening. So like if someone has been looking back at the past and having realizations about the past, um, I feel like with the Eight of Wands reverse, it hasn't been quick. It hasn't been a, a sh like a shocking or sudden realization. It's taken its time. I get one more for judgment. The Emperor, there you are, Aries, showing up to your own reading. So again, it's almost like someone is um trying to figure this out. The the Emperor is a doer though. The Emperor likes to have things be done in the in the right way. You know, they really like stability, they really like um structure. They are wise about the moves that they make so it's almost like this is you wanting some sort of stability here wanting possibly this four of wands wanting a partnership uh bottom of the deck i have the eight of cups maybe you are making some sort of mo move into a new cycle but it's delayed in some way Maybe you're having some sort of realizations about the past. This could be you or your person, but the fact that the emperor showed up here, um, I think it might be you. The hermit and the three of swords. So I feel like you've withdrawn, possibly due to heartbreak, you or your person. You might be dealing with a Virgo as well, but I feel like this is someone who, because of a heartbreaking or disappointing situation, they retreated. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Oh, Page of Cups reverse. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Yikes, Two of Cups reverse. So someone here made uh, some sort of a mistake. They disappointed someone, they gave up on something good or sabotaged something good. Someone's thinking about this. I have the hangman here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone's really thinking about this and, and seeing it with new eyes. Judgment and then the hangman. So there could have been a separation here, some a breakup, um, something that, yeah. And it was very disappointing, heartbreaking. But I have the Ace of Wands here. So what's this Ace of Wands about? The Ace of Wands here. Holy crap. <laughs> the Tower. Wow, okay. So this is going to be 
like a like a shock or something sudden uh something that is a revelation something that someone realizes and it leads to a new beginning or it's tied to a new beginning somehow so something had to come down here wow the higher font reverse towards energy so it could have been a commitment of some sort it could be that someone has to rebel against what's expected of them what society expects from them how they how the the expectations they put on themselves but i'm thinking of that this might be a breakup for some wow and then the empress we have the emperor and the empress here and the bottom of the deck the six of cups so i feel like there's definitely a uh, a union here i have the emperor the empress and the lovers but then there's also cards about a separation it could be both Where is all of this headed? Where is all of this headed? Oh, that was too many. Where is all of this headed for Aries? With the High Priestess and the Page of Swords reversed, that's this closed off hidden motives energy. I feel like someone's wondering what the other person is thinking. Wondering if maybe they should, and it's almost like whatever they're, the, the reason they're having doubts or worry about the future here with the Seven of Pentacles is because they don't know something. Tell me more about the High Priestess and the Page of Swords reverse spirit like someone's waiting yeah but again we have this um message about time wheel of fortune reverse delays things not really moving forward oh and then the ace of cups reverse i feel like the waiting hasn't been easy yeah there's something here where there's disappointment and someone I feel like can't stop thinking about the past but there's no communication yeah there's almost like um a, a back and forth should I shouldn't I with the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles almost like someone's not sure and I have a feeling this is tied to communication Oh yes, the world reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. So it's almost like some there's no closure. That's the problem. Someone cannot let go of the past because there hasn't been sufficient closure. And I feel like this is the unknown, what, what someone doesn't know, what someone is not aware of. I feel like it holds them back and makes them hesitate, even though um, deep down it's like, I think they want to make an offer of some sort or they want an opportunity here. This could also be that someone's debating whether to put something to rest and leave it in the past once and for all, or go for it. Interesting. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, this is a general reading. Keep in mind that it's not going to resonate with everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope it resonated for some of you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you like my readings and you want to see more. Don't forget to check out your playlist as well. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.